Hey guys, this is Hunter. I got my dad here with me today, Todd. We're sitting here in our camper shed. Behind us is our trophy bass pond that we built. That's been a year and a half in the making. Uh, and you guys probably clicked this video because you saw female only bass and it intrigued you. And that's right, there's no males in this pond. And we're gonna get into why, uh, why there's only females in this pond in a second. Uh, we gotta throw a shout out to Scott Smith over at Natural Resource Management. Uh, he is behind the scenes working on this pond, fertilizing it, liming it, helping us stocking it, getting the fish for us. He comes here all the time, uh, once a month. Yeah, once a month. Once too. a month, just to check on it. We give him free range. He gets on our boat. He goes out there. We trust him. Um, he told us, what, 60 to 80 mile radius where we're at in Collins, Mississippi, that he services people. If, if you're interested in doing that type of stuff, uh, we'll leave his um, phone number here and contact information, and you guys can um, holler at him if you need him. But Dad's going to get into kind of a brief history of – uh, this pond and how we got to this point and also some of the things that we've done to make it a trophy pond That's right. Like, you know back to Scott. It, it was his idea I, We'd never heard of it like probably much like you and that's why you clicked on female only like what now? So uh, hmm. If you're trying to have trophy bass and I'm gonna let Hunter explain the, the female part here in just a second But if you're trying to have some trophy bass and get really big and fat then then it's a female only deal like I said switch back to Hunter in a second, explain that part. But how, how do we get here? So we had decided to build this five acre uh, pond a, a couple of years ago and the cost got out of hand and it, it never intended to be what it is today. There wasn't gonna be a, a camper shed, there wasn't gonna be a boat house, wasn't gonna be a lot of stuff really, but some cost on run come into it. So we decided just to make it a really nice facility overall and trophy bass pond out of it. Um, so uh, we had people build our pond and then Hunter and I got to work. There's some, he'll throw some footage up here where we were building brim beds with feed gravel. We got three of those with three feeders. Um, there's a lot of structure in here, artificial and natural. That's a ton of artificial structure. We took our excavator and, and we dug out, uh, I think two, one of them is about 300 foot long, real wide, six foot wide, four feet deep you know, ditches, just, just places for bass to go. So a lot of structure. Uh, we put in, Hunter, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, 50 pounds of pots, minnows. Uh, got a buddy has got a minnow farm, and that's kind of a trash fish for them. So 50 pounds of that. Uh, we put in thread fin shad. We put in red ear and a bluegill brim in here for bait fish. And so uh, when we finally got to this point, as you saw, uh, at the very beginning there, as, as we were putting the bass in, they were already uh, r roughly a pound a piece, and we put 100 of them in here. Uh, so I'll shoot back to Hunter, and he can tell you what you really want to know about the yeah. female. The the type of bass we put in here is an F1 hybrid. Uh, tiger bass. F1 tiger F1 hybrid tiger bass is what you would call it, uh, female only, no males, so they're not going to reproduce. Uh, the female... If they're not reproducing, then they're not using enough energy um, to put out up, to have eggs. Yeah, you, using up their energy. Yeah, so in return, they get bigger. Uh, females are the bigger of the two, male and female. Um, they're going to have plenty to eat. Like he said, all the stuff we put in here has been in here for a year and a half. And just last week, we put in these bass, and they have plenty of forage food in there. So these bass being already a pound, we expect them to be six pounds next year. Uh, every so often, I guess every two years, we'll re put more fish in here. Yeah, and that, you said six. I think the, the growth rate on them is three pounds a year, actually, yeah. uh, on them. And, and one thing uh, Hunter left out there on these females, and, and one of the big big reasons for me is, is, is we have a smaller pond, and we don't manage it, and the bass uh, over-multiply, mm -hmm. now they're too small. So yeah. when, when you're putting female only in, then they they can't as he said they don't multiply they don't overpopulate and from a management standpoint it you know it's yeah. not as hard you don't have to keep yeah. keep on it well we have a tractor shed pond we have camper shed tractor shed it's through the woods over here and when we first got it all I was catching was a smaller bass out of every single cast got my friends got my cousin we have a Fender's Creek Bass Classic every year and we just take out fish that are smaller than our feet. Uh, put in a bunch of uh, structure in there, just some PVC pipe stuff I made. Crawfish, we put in bluegill not too long ago in there. We, after taking out 90 pounds of fish per acre is what you're supposed to do for the past couple of years. We've seen growth in that, but it, that takes a lot more effort than just putting female bass only in a pond and starting from scratch and then having a bunch of forage fish that they're just 
praying on every single day. Uh, not to mention how we, um, and Scott has maintained it for us and given them a healthy environment that produces good algae from the fertilizer and the lime in it and then gets them bigger just because of the environment they're in. Yeah, so it's really kind of a, in my opinion, a, a lazy man's way of uh, having a trophy bass pond. I mean, we like to fish, no, uh, don't get me wrong, but you know, when you're really gonna manage one the way that it should be, if you're gonna put the effort in it, it is just a lot of work. And I so, think we like the process more than we did yeah. the, the work behind the scenes and yes. doing all this. And you guys will see more from more videos that we're creating in the future. We like to just work and get out here with our, get our hands dirty yes. and do all these projects. We got yeah. a lot coming up. But. Yeah, that's that's kind of sad for me is I'd rather do the work than the fishing or the hunting or, or whatever. Yeah, but um, I get to enjoy it. Yeah, Hunter <laughs> seems to enjoy the hunting and the fishing more than the work, but you know, if it, if it all works out in the end. But basically just, just an overview real quick, and we'll wind this up, don't wanna to get too long. It's just female bass only is just something new to a lot of people. And and, a, and like I said, I know you clicked on it because you saw that term, and this is just the main reasons why. It's just an easier way to grow a trophy bass if that is your ideas trophy bass if when, you're not when did they discover i'm sorry but when did they discover that they could test male and female we might want to tell them that well i don't know the answer to that but not, not until oh, recent years they were able to figure out they could sign no, that testing for male or female no that wasn't it i don't that wasn't it, what was in question what was in question on time frame is it had to be a certain size to be able to and they used to i don't know what their old methods were but now they're genetically tested but they have to be between six and ten inches long before they can genetically test them to uh, yeah. make sure the sexes is right. Yeah. Um, Hopefully we didn't have a oops. Yeah, let's we hope we don't have an there. oops and, and all this is for naught. But like I said, again, it's just, a, it's just a lazy man's way to have a trophy bass pond. And what I was gonna finish up saying there was is that, you know, if you want to catch fish and eat fish and, and, and you really want to fish a lot, it's, it's probably not for you. But if you wanna do a catch and release, type deal and want the largest of large according to American Sport Fish and Scott Smith this is a way to do it and once again we'll put Scott's contact here at the end or probably two places Hunter's got it uh, but if you got questions or something you want to do and you're in 100 miles of Collinsville uh, give him a call he does really good work for us Haiti couldn't be here with us today to do this video to give his more expert uh, explanation of female only but we wanted to get a video out to tell them about it yep. so thank you guys for watching hope they interest you um, leave us some comments if you got them and like and subscribe we'll catch you on some later videos Amen. peace